Hi, today's story is Just One More and it's written by Tracy Cordroy. Tea time was over. Bath time was over. That meant just one thing. Story time, cried little brown bunny. So mummy read him a story. Then another, then another. Just one more, begged little brown bunny. So Daddy read him one more story right at the end. Still Bunny said, just one more. Granny's turn, cried Daddy Rabbit, when Granny had read all the dragon books and Grandpa had read them again. Little Brown Bunny still wanted just one more. He sounds like you guys. Mummy Rabbit gave a great big yawn. Oh, but little brown bunny, look, she said, we've read all your stories, see? No more stories means it's time for sleep. Oh, said Bunny. Maybe, he whispered, I'll make a bedtime storybook. A super, super long one. Then story time will last all night. Next morning, Bunny hopped out of bed. Hooray, he cried. Time to make my story. He bounced across to his making things box. Soon he was writing big, long words and drawing lots of pictures. At last, he heaved up his heavy book. This was going to be the longest story ever. Are you sitting comfortably? He asked his toys. We might be here for a long, long time. Two minutes later, it was all over. Mom, cried Bunny. My super long story wasn't super long at all. Don't worry, said Mum. Why don't you go and ask your friends what stories they like? Then you can add them to your book. Clever Mummy, cried Little Brown Bunny, and off he went. Owl was playing with his rocket when Bunny bounced in. My favourite stories, he hooted, are one things, some things, anything about the moon. One day I'm going to fly there. Zoom! I love the moon too, said Bunny. Thanks, Owl. And he blasted off to find Little Mouse. Mouse was having a teeny snack when Bunny bounded in. I love stories about cheese, she mumbled. Big cheese, small cheese, round cheese, pongy cheese, any cheese really. Thanks Mouse, giggled Bunny, holding his nose and off he went to find Little Wolf. Oh, pure! Little 
Little Wolf was having a tea party when Bunny came by. Well, I do love stories about piggies, he said, and that grandma with the big furry ears. My favourite story, grinned Big Daddy Wolf, is the one all about... Oh, what's it going to be? Hugs. Oh, Daddy giggled little wolf. What big arms you have. All the better to hug you with, chuckled Daddy Wolf. And he gave his boy a big daddy kiss on the nose. Mwah. Thanks for your help, buddy, called. Then he huffed and puffed all the way back home. Brown Bunny got out of his book and scribbled down some of the stories of moons made of cheese and rockets with big fluffy hugs. By the time he had finished, it was dark outside. Come on, everyone, he called. This is going to be the best, most super duper storybook ever. He opened it ever so carefully and took a big, deep breath. Then... Little brown bunny fell fast asleep. He was so exhausted from all that running around and asking everyone about what their favourite story was. Brown bunny. <laughs> Just one more. See ya.